Got another question for the NMR playlist, so we're up to number 26 now. I hope you like the video, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, why don't you consider doing that? But as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So you can see I've written up straight away next to the addition of 24 DNP, no visible change. That's telling us that this is not a carbonyl, so it can't be an aldehyde or a ketone. Next thing I've done is worked out the empirical formula from that elemental analysis by mass. So you can see that's coming out at C4H8O and you should always calculate the MR of the empirical formula. So that's 72 because what we're going to do now is compare that to the molecular ion peak M over Z value. So you can see that's 144. So when you divide that by the MR of the empirical formula, you get 2, which means that the molecular formula must be c 8 H16 O2. And then if we quickly look at the infrared spectrum, you can see I've written up that there's no OH. We haven't got that characteristic OH absorption uh, for alcohol, phenol, or carboxylic acid, but we have got a C double bond O. So I'm now thinking because there's two O's in the molecule, it's an ester. So moving on now to the proton NMR spectrum, I'm going to do my usual thing, take each signal at a time and write up the same sort of information and if possible build up that part of the structure from the peak information. So starting with the signal that I've highlighted there at delta 4 ppm, that's a singlet, so we're using the correct terminology for the type of signal. Uh, what does a singlet mean? It means there's no adjacent hydrogen uh, to the hydrogens causing the signal. Area 2 means that there are two hydrogens in the environment causing the signal, so that's a CH2 group. And the shift of 4 ppm is indicative of an H to C to single bond or environment. Remember, we think it could be an ester, and that's definitely one of the bonds in an ester group. So that red structure that I've drawn up there is what that all looks like. Moving on to the quartet at roughly delta 2.2 ppm. So a quartet means there's an adjacent CH3 group. Area 2, CH2 causing the signal and that shift value indicative of H to C to C double bond O, which is another bond you would expect to see in an ester. So I've drawn that up in blue and because it's we think it's an ester, it's looking very likely it's an ester. If we join that red part to the blue part, we've got our ester bond. Moving on to the triplet at delta 1.1 ppm. So triplet means there's an adjacent CH2, area 3, CH3 causing the signal, shift, H to C to R. So we've actually already identified this signal. It's um, these protons here that I've drawn up in blue, but I've just drawn that part up again in purple. And finally, the singlet at roughly delta 0.9 ppm. Remember, singlet means there's no adjacent hydrogens to the ones causing the signal. Area 9 means that we've got three equivalent CH3 groups in the environment and shift H to C to R. So you can see I've already drawn that up in green there. So basically that part there is going to be attached to um, this part of the ester group here. So next to this CH2 group. So there's the ester drawn up there and it definitely does have the molecular formula C8H16. O two. 